SWS 6000 A Hemodialysis Machine Operation Process The demonstration in this video is for reference only and the equipment involved. The use of consumables, the principle of sterility, and other matters should be carried out in strict accordance with the relevant clinical specifications. Preparation Dialyzer Extracorporeal Blood Circulation Circuit AB Concentrate Fluid Saline Anticoagulant Syringe Arteriovenous Puncture Needle Tourniquet Infusion Set Needle Care Kits and Other Required Items Preparations for Medical Staff Dress neatly, wear a mask, and wash hands standardly. Equipment Introduction Power Switch Key Endotoxin Filter Power on or off Key Blood Pump on or off Key Venous Bubble Catcher Liquid Level Adjustment Button Mute Button Heparin Pump Arterial Pressure AP Venous Pressure VP Blood Pump Bubble Catcher Base Venous Dialyzer Couplings Air Dectacore and Block Clamp AB Fluid Connector The Seat for A, B Fluid Container IV Pole Indicator Light Hook Dialyzer Holder Bubble Catcher Arterial Steps Self-Test Press the power on and off key to turn on the machine Put the A and B liquid connector into the AB concentrate fluid barrels respectively. The machine will automatically perform a system self-test. Check items. Check whether all items are within the validity period. Whether the packaging is complete and whether the liquid is turbid. After the self-test is completed, the machine enters the mode selection interface. Select the hemodialysis HD, treatment mode and the machine enters the preparation interface. Install blood circuit and dialyzer. Fix the dialyzer with the venous facing upwards on the dialyzer clamp. Install the blood circuit. Connect the dialyzer arterial, red. Use saline to drain the air from the arterial by gravity, and close the arterial clamp. Connect the venous blood circuit to the venous port of the dialyzer, blue. Insert bloodline into air detector. Connect the venous to the waste fluid bag and hang it on the hook. Install Venous Pressure VP. Degassing. Press the blood pump button to turn on the blood pump. Blood pump flow rate 100 milliliters per minute. Degassing the air in the blood circuit and dialyzer blood side with saline. When 300 milliliters of normal saline enters the pipeline, the blood pump will automatically stop. Machine tips. Prime finished. Change the direction of the arterial bubble catcher. Priming. Connect arterial and venous blood circuit together after blood pump stopping. Open the arterial venous clamp. Connect the dialyzer couplings to dialyzer. Notice the color of connection. Put the venous of the dialyzer down. Press run to perform priming mode for 10 minutes. Tap the dialyzer to drain the air outside the dialyzer membrane and the blood circuit. Long press the venous bubble catcher liquid level adjustment button. Adjust the fluid level of the venous bubble catcher to about two thirds. Establish extracorporeal blood circulation circuit. First check. Check doctor's orders.
Second vascular access preparation. Third parameter setting. Machine will automatically switch to the parameter setting interface after priming is completed. Set parameter in this interface. Disconnect the arteriovenous end of the blood circuit. Connect venous to waste liquid bag again. Open the waste liquid bag and the venous clamp. Connect arterial to patient by puncturing. Press dialysis start key to deliver blood into extracorporeal circulation. The clamp recognizes the passage of blood. The machine alarms and the blood pump stops. Tips. Connect the venous line to the patient. Connect venous to patient by puncturing. Increase blood pump flow rate. Press run to start therapy. Fourth standard handling of articles. Reinfusion. When the treatment is over or when you need to suspend. Confirm tips 264. Confirm tips. Treatment is over, whether start to reinfusion. Open saline infusion lines clamp. Close the arterial bleeding end clip. Saline pushes blood back to patient automatically before blood pump. Turn on blood pump to return the rest blood to patient. Stop blood pump and disconnect patient. Drain. Disconnect the VP connector and keep the circuit clamp open. Press drain key to empty dialyzer. Tips 501. Blood line drain finished. Disinfect. Remove the blood circuit, dialyzer, dialyzer couplings, dialysate connector.
Press disinfection. It is recommended to perform heat disinfection after each treatment. Heat disinfection plus chemical disinfection once a month. Turn off the power and unplug the power plug. Thank you for watching.